when you were kids and you made uh, Valentine's Day cards for the people you loved, we decided to make a Valentine's Day card for Greg Salinger to tell him that we love a lot of things about Manitoba, we care about them, and we want to make sure that we protect them in the future. So these are this is a postcard campaign that the Council of Canadians Winnipeg Chapter put out and has been getting signed. These are all signed cards and we got a stack more that we're delivering, about 3,000 cards going in. People who care about uh, Manitoba and who want Manitoba to stay out of CETA. The Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement between the European Union and Canada is something that's very bad for Manitoba, it's very bad for Canadians. It's good for corporations, but not good for ordinary people. Uh, my fear with CETA, like most uh, trade agreements that the Canadian government has come into, is that it will be more about uh, opening up our borders to foreign takeovers, uh, corporate profits, and will be much less about job creation, protecting the environment, and the health and safety of workers. I would encourage our provincial government to stay out of CETA. I'm really angry that our provincial government would choose to side along with Harper and his conservatives in destroying the economic fabric of our communities. We have to push for local green economy and that means that we need to reinforce all of the small businesses and small community groups and individuals who feel those values and want to create a different Manitoba. I think that that's where we have to go if we're going to really make a difference in how we're going to live on this planet. I'm concerned about what CETA means for the future of Manitobans. CETA will put uh, public services on the bargaining table and that means that things like Canadians uh, water and wastewater services uh, will be bargained over cause an increased need for it to, to become a commodity instead of being treated like the human right that it is. So please, keep Manitoba out of CETA. And I'm here with a group of people right now delivering a message on Valentine's Day. Keep Manitoba out of CETA. Canadians, take responsibility for your own stuff. Good morning. Who actually is setting, a, setting us up to agree to this uh, European trade agreement? Uh, is it really Harper that's, uh, that's behind this uh, and favoring this for our country? Or is it the multinationals that are uh, dictating what has to happen here? Uh, and why are we calling this a democracy if, if Harper is simply a puppet for the multinationals? Let's uh, consider what it is we need to do here. Let me just demonstrate. I want to read something to you here. Bridget, I agree with you. You're a smart woman. We have to stop Harper. Uh, government procurement is going to be open to bidding from all European corporations, all Canadian corporations. What this means is that any city, any province that spends over $200,000 it's going to have to open that bidding to all these corporations. They're going to have to choose the lowest bidder, even if that means, for instance, um, a school lunch program that ends up with microwave meals from some European country. There's nothing that we can do about that. That's what we're going to be stuck with. It's not going to help the local job situation. It's not, not going to help local economies. It's not going to recognize indigenous rights. It's going to open up investment in tar sands and require require that any any ownership that happens there is permanent and give give um, corporations rights to all our natural resources. There's nothing good about this at all. So please help keep Manitoba out of sea. Uh, 
Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and it angers me that this is all being done in secrecy, that we can't even have access to our, uh, to our provincial government statement to the federal government on what their concerns are. They've written a list of their concerns and sent it to the, to the federal government and we can't even get access. We've asked for it nicely, we've created a f uh, freedom of information request and they still won't give it to us. It, it, this is our democratic right to see these documents and we need to move forward with, with, what, is, with what our real needs are in the community. So I say, yeah, keep Manitoba out of CETA. Valentine's for all our MLAs, telling them how much we love Manitoba and how we want to protect Manitoba from CETA. It says, it's Valentine's Day and love is in the air. And here in Manitoba, there's a lot to love so far. We have protected natural resources, public drinking water and wastewater services, local food and local food programs, public libraries that are still hanging on to the public park, a wide variety of local businesses doing business locally, public services that haven't been privatized in so long, ground corporations that also haven't been privatized in so long, public transit, and affordable prescription drugs. We want to keep it that way, don't you? Please keep Manitoba up. Please. Manitobans want us to stay out of CETA! Please, 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 please! Please keep Manitoba out of CETA. Keep Manitoba out of CETA. Manitoba out of CETA. Keep Manitoba out of CETA. Keep Manitoba out of CETA. Please.